New video, new fish for when we get the 125 gallon setup. Let's take a look at what we got. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Would not suggest driving and videoing, but we just went to the fish store and I'm bringing some brand new fish home. So let's get them back and get them acclimated. So the fish room is looking like an absolute bomb site right now because we are treating a fish in that quarantine tank. There'll be a video on that coming in the next few weeks. Angels are looking absolutely brilliant. From the fish store, I also got some Amazon frog bit because I want some floating plants. I'll probably switch them out between the 55 and the 40, but the fish that I've got are going in this bottom 55 gallon and will eventually be going in the 125 gallon once we get into the new house. And of course, you've got to be having at least one beer while you're acclimating fish, it's just a given. So anyway, gone over acclimating fish before, so we're not going to go into too much detail. In today's video, I'll leave a card top right hand side of your screen now if you want to see a more condensed and detailed process. But basically, you're just going to take some water out of the tank that you're putting the fish in and add it to the bucket that you put the fish in, if that makes sense. Pretty much, yeah. Check out the video above if you, uh, if you want to see more details on that. But after a while, your fish are going to be completely acclimated to the water that they're going into and then you can catch them. So once acclimated, grab yourself a net. Let's catch these fish and get them out. We've got three newbies and as I said, they're relatively small now. They're gonna be going in a 55 gallon for the next two months now, I think it is until we move into the new house. And then we're gonna be setting up a 125 gallon where these fish are gonna be going into. Clutch work with the net, all three of them are in there. And as you can see, we've got ourselves three silver dollars. Not too sure on the variant, I believe they are red hooks. Um, but as you can see from the footage later in the video, one of them looks a little bit different and is almost spotted, which I think looks really, really cool. But we are going to release them at the bottom of the tank just to make sure they don't get picked on too much. From my research, I do know that they are relatively skittish fish, so I don't really want my blood parrot or the severum really stressing them out to begin with and thinking that the food because I released them at the top of the tank. So the fish just decided to come out of the net after a rather painstaking ordeal and they're now at the back right of the tank. In fact, two of them are. Not quite sure where the other one is. I'm also going to dose the tank with some aquarium salt and some Melifix. The Melifix is just good for bacterial infections um, and any damaged fins or anything like that. I have noticed that these silver dollars have got some damage to the fins so hopefully this will help sort that out not quite sure where the other one is i think he might be somewhere back here if i can find him i will i'm not going to turn the light on right now because the darker the tank the safer they're going to feel less stressed and also less likely to be noticed by the other fish i did put some of the frog bit in the 40 gallon and i'm really looking to see this grow out i also put some in the 55 and my hope is that this just grows like a weed and those long roots really hang down. And I think it'll just be really cool in both of these tanks. And obviously I can utilize it moving forward once we eventually get into the house. Overall though, really loving this tank right now. Angels are doing fantastic. And the black neon tetras I've got in here are doing awesome too. Just turned the light on for the 55 gallon. We can see two of the silver dollars that look to be doing good, but I'm not going to leave this light on for too much longer. It appears two of them are there and one of them still behind the back down here. Unsure if we're going to be able to see him too much, but yeah, there we go. Just about. He seems to be chilling, so I'm going to turn the light off and then we'll come back in a few hours and hopefully these three will be chilling 
acting normally and hopefully they'll even eat too because we will be feeding the other fish as we want to obviously decrease aggression. A hungry fish is usually a more aggressive fish. Two hours later. So here we are guys, the silver dollars are out. Two of them seem to be hanging together and the other one is just chilling basically wherever he wants. He seems the most relaxed in the tank, doesn't really mind if any of the angels or the blood parrot or the severum gets near him and he's completely fine just chilling by himself. So a little bit of information on silver dollars as I just think they're absolutely awesome. So these fish are from South America and are actually distantly related to piranha. They can live in captivity for around 10 years if cared for correctly and depending on the variant that you purchase can grow anywhere from 6 to 8 inches although more commonly in the aquarium they've got a growth of around 6. Because of this they'll be in a 125 moving forward although you could probably get away with a 75 gallon if you really had to. As mentioned earlier in the video, they are classed or thought to be somewhat of a schooling fish because they are so skittish when kept in small numbers. So these three are probably the bare minimum that I could do, although a more common recommended amount is around five. I will probably purchase two or three more at some point in the future once I get these moved into the 125 in a few months time. So last but not least, the classed as omnivores but do prefer more of a herbivorous diet but with that being said also take that into account with the food that you feed them so feed them quite a lot of plant matter and if you can't feed plant matter feed a food that is high in spirulina or something of that nature having said that though they do enjoy meaty treats so feel free to throw them something nice and high in protein every now and then Tank mate requirements for these guys are relatively simple. As we talked about earlier, these guys are schooling fish, so more silver dollars would always be an option. Other options are fish or cichlids that get to a good size but aren't overly aggressive. So good tank mates, in my opinion, are electric blue acara, severums, angelfish, blood parrots, geophagus potentially keyhole cichlids and basically any other fish that get to a decent size but aren't massively aggressive like green terrors or that kind of thing so anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed this video we'll leave you with them eating and this is literally two three hours after i introduced them to the tank and as you can see they're quite at home eating readily and hopefully they'll continue to go from strength to strength. I'm really excited to get these guys in the 125 and hopefully you guys are excited for what's to come on the channel in the next few months. So thanks for watching this one. If you've not subscribed already, make sure you do hit that like button, comment down below so this video gets pushed out to more people. We can continue gaining subscribers, which gives us the ability to do more on the channel and bring you guys some more content. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you on the next one.